On Sunday, May 7, 2023, during the service, God's servant gave a prophecy concerning the exit of one of the fathers of faith in Zimbabwe. Listen carefully to what he said. I had a vision concerning one of the fathers of faith, the foremost father of faith in Zimbabwe. He's an archbishop. I saw him dropping his sword. It was in the dream of the night. Okay? Then I saw a sword that landed from the sky. Bam! Ah, what kind of sword is this? And then the sword was turning like 360 degrees. I then moved close to it in that vision. So when I got close to it, I saw the name of the man written on the sword. I saw G-U-T-I, Guti. And the Lord said to me, It's time to take a flight. I is about to be called home. And in exactly eight weeks and three days, the word of the Lord from the mouth of God's servant came to pass. The national councils of various nations, leaders, and the precious saints. It is with heavy hearts and deep sorrow that we announce the promotion to great glory of our dearly beloved spiritual father, visionary, and iconic leader, Archbishop Professor Ezekiel Andinawangu Guti. Our father, the born servant and apostle of God, Archbishop Ezekiel Andinawangu Guti, peacefully departed from this world today, Wednesday, the 5th of July, 2023. He has transitioned to be with his Lord and Master, whom he faithfully and sacrificially served for over eight decades. I was asking, why is the Lord showing me? He said, because that is a generational mantle that is about to drop. He said, it's a generational mantle that is about to drop. So he said, number one, he revealed it to me so that I could align myself. Then when I began to do research about the man, was it not yesterday that I was showing you a video about the man? I was even telling you about this man. I said, this man, no. I began to do research about, I now discovered that that man was in the days of Archbishop Benson Daosa. They were very close like this. So he was part of that generation that time. So it was like the remnant, the witness of that generation that is still what? Around in that territory, that southern world, Africa, especially Zimbabwe. And God said, it's time to be called home. Well, Ezekiel, nice to see you again. After 22 years, you will be aware of this. I was leaving Christ for the nation. I needed somebody to take my place. I had to listen to give him scholarship to go to school for 22 years. This is the man today that is here at this evening. Thank God for his life. Every seed you sow, you will reap it later. Thank God. Today he's doing something great in that part of Africa, and we give God all the glory. Afterward, there will be a revival. Because Africa has become, not going to, has become the center of revival to the world now, presently. From the West Africa, that's Nigeria, to Ghana, to East Africa, to Southern Africa, Africans are producing men who are carrying the banner of Christ globally. And this is still tearing up. This thing is still coming up. It's still coming up. Are you getting the point? Yeah, because as time progresses, this revival is going to engulf the entire territory first. All right? And before it, it engulfs the entire nations of the world. Our condolences to the family, the church, and the entire body of Christ in Zimbabwe. God is still speaking today. <laughs>